Hey guys, how you doing? Well, here we go. I think I'm completely over the Rona. I'm coming out of the dark tunnel that is real life. Let's see if we can do some tips and tricks. So, what I wanted to do with this footage is talk about some of these mid-game, maybe early-late-game techniques. And here, what I'm doing is I'm using the terrain as cover. And I'm taking on tanks. Now, these, you know, these first two are just prototypes, so they're not that much of a handful. Not really worried about weak spots. We talked about weak spots last time. But you can see I am going for the... I'm trying. I'm not... Not doing my best job of marksmanship ever. And I, th I think the developers put in this wonky, jerky motion to, you know, throw your aim off. And, eh, whatever. Got him in the gas tank, so. And so what you want to do is you can use a ridge, a hill line, some type of change in elevation. You can use boulders like this. The trick, though, the difference in using... Uh, environmental features like this is that you don't have any protection from the mortar and so here's a military class tank a little bit more of a handful I'm using the good old PVG 90 and coffee hold on a second mm. Mm. and so what you got to do is kind of watch for what weapon he's got to drop on you. Now, when he's way out like that, he usually wants to mortar you. So you just look for the mortars to start to, to come inbound. Ah, oh, there's a tree in the way, so I kind of screwed that up. But I didn't take a lot of damage. Now, we're using a body. A corpse of a previously defeated tank. They block the shots, but they don't block the mortars. So, ah, run for your life! <laughs> And now you can see trees. I'm using I'm using these trees. The trees in this game are, well, as far as I can tell, made of Chobham armor. <laughs> and down goes Frazier. And so you can use the environment for cover. You don't have to just do the, the crazy sprint for your life stuff that you see a lot of people do. You can uh, dance back and forth. You just have to set it up. You know, you just have to look and see where your enemy is what's around your enemy what type of what type of environment is the enemy moving towards and look for hills look for trees look for defeated uh corpses bodies debris whatever you want to call that like to the right there there's a a fallen robot i could be using that and here comes the mortars you got to sprint that off he got me a little bit but we'll be all right and we're just going to work those weak spots, look for the blue spar sparks. You know, it's not brain surgery, guys. It's it's just it's just not that difficult. And you can see here now I'm using the ridge line for cover, but you got to watch for those mortars just to come arcing in because those can mess you up. Got some blue sparks. And there we go. He fall down, go boom. Now, in this section, what I want to talk about is leveling up a region for the Reaper. Okay, if you don't know, the Reaper will only appear in level 21 and above zones. The Reaper will also only appear if there are open active rival slots. So this zone has six, eight is the max. So you want them down to seven or six. And you gotta be careful because when you pop those rivals to make room for the Reaper, you unlevel or de-level the zone so you've got to strike this balance between clearing out slots for the reaper to spawn into and leveling up the zone above level 21 i have seen people say that uh, 25 the reaper will almost uh, people have had the reaper insta spawn like they kill him and then one hour later, he pops back up again. He has a one hour timer. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, you want to, what I like to do is take out the hunter class rivals and leave the bigger rivals because, um, they're worth more XP. 
So, you, you know, knock out the hunters, open those slots up, and try to leave the tanks and the harvesters. Uh, push comes to shove, kill a harvester before you kill a tank. Rival, right? Uh, right now, you can see the importance of thermal scopes, and that was in my mid-game tips and tricks. But I just want to reiterate that you can find those pesky dogs and runners hiding down in the, in the grass with thermal. Now here, we're going after a prototype tank. We're just going for that center weak spot. You can see I'm using armor piercing on the KVM-59. Fantastic weapon. You just you, you have to learn the KV-59. You have to understand that you can't fight anybody too terribly co close because the electrical arcing AOE effect will zap you. So when when facing runners and hunters that want to close in with you, you have to be, you have to save some of your sprint your stamina bar to sprint and extend that range between you and the bad guys. But fantastic weapon. Now here, I've been perfecting the way I like to take out harvesters because harvesters can be a pain in the butt because once they turn their front towards you they can be a pain because all of their juicy squishy bits are on the back and so we need to do it from behind <laughs> sorry but what i want to do here is i want to kill this harvester without him spawning in a bunch of uh hunters now if you want a bunch of hunters which is a perfectly acceptable tactic don't kill him right just shoot him from the front but you can see how quick he goes down with the uh, 7.62 ap from the kvm 59. now what we're looking at here is i'm trying to strike that balance because i'm up to level 24 for the zone level i've got seven active rivals i would like to prune some of these uh well these 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 hunter class rivals right you want your rivals to be tanks and, and harvesters to get the best loot, to get the best XP. Mm, coffee. Hey guys, uh, like and subscribe, please. It really helps the channel out if you if, if you um, do those things, post comments, give me activity, I'm trying to get the little channel noticed. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to break through the old YouTube algorithm. So yeah, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, telling people about the video, say, hey, there's this guy, damn it, he doesn't suck, you know? Uh, some people think I have a pleasing voice. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but I think I sound like a big nasal dork, but whatever. Okay, so clearing out these this uh, hunter class rival, you can see, of course, he has friends, because Generation Zero, it loves to bring an army. It loves the ads, right? This this game's all about the ads. And so here comes the mortar from the from Mr. Hunter here. You gotta watch out for those. Just you know, aim center mass. You know, aim around the red dot. Maybe a little above the red dot. Uh, you can go higher, and with this gun, you can penetrate all the way through. And you can hit those rear components through the front. If you get a side shot, take it, because with the with the the experimental PVG ninety, you can hit multiple components. But We'll get this guy dead here in just a second. See, off comes the tick pod. And he should be no longer... He's not long for this world. KVM. Once again, just maintain your spacing. And he fall down, go boom. I don't think I got any loot off this guy. I don't remember. Yeah, I've, I've started doing my voiceover after the fact. Yeah, I didn't get sh Well, I got experimental IPs, but quite frankly, I don't care about that crap. So, once again, taking down harvesters, uh, the way, you know, you gotta use your sprint. Uh, I am stealth spec, so I like to get in position from a stealth attack to get that, uh, you see, I got a little bit out of position here, got a little too close, and he farted on me. That kinda hurt. But, you know, it's all a learning process. You can still drop them from the front. It's just easier to drop them from behind. That's what she said. <laughs> so, we got his mortar off. So now he's much less of a threat. Just don't get too close for the his, you know, gas attack and, and his, uh, his stomp and all that good shit. But now, what I'm doing here, I was kind of 
playing around with the harvester. I want, so I'm knocking off these armor panels with the AP ammo because AP will will shred armor quicker than than standard arm standard uh, standard ammo. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I could get this guy to to drop some more hunters, and he just wouldn't spawn them in. And I think. I don't know if it's if it's damage to the to the mech or if it's just part of the AI, but they seem to be the harvesters seem much more inclined to uh, spawn in those hunters if you because hunters are your most efficient XP for leveling a zone. You can kill them quick, you know. Compared to tanks and harvesters, you can drop. Well, I can drop harvesters pretty fast with my you know backdoor man technique but you know seven eight hunters with the with the kvm 59 you can drop them post haste right and so here i'm doing the out in the open uh technique and of course you know the, the kvm just shreds things especially with ap ammo and i just kind of was messing around with my food here i wanted to see if this this harvester would spawn hunters and he just would not do it Mm. Coffee. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I don't really care for beer. I'm a vodka man. But I love me some coffee. And we're just gonna... I think I finally got sick of playing with my food. But you can see where the four... Yeah, I got a little bug there. <laughs> I wanted that in for the crazy, crazy physics bug. Yeah, I'm not really complaining I just thought it was funny so you got these leg armor plates pop each one off behind them nice squishy yummy fleshy components back there that you can wail on you know if you're if you're facing a tier 4 rival harvester that's the way to go you know knock off those legs I mean knock off the mortar first but and so here we go one more time the backdoor technique on the harvesters you can really level up a region fast running around killing you know, military class harvesters. It it doesn't work as well on Phoenix class and then on, on Apocalypse class, wow does it not work as well. They just they they're they're just bullet sponges, you know. But the Phoenix, it does kill them quick enough. But anyway guys, that's what I wanted to talk about this time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.